Hi, I'm Tom, a software engineer at Google. This is the first video in our series using Ansible with Google Cloud Platform. We can use many available Ansible modules to manage the various services in GCP. Dylan is here from Ansible to tell us more about how a DevOps team can take advantage of these features available in the engine. Ansible is a YAML-based language that can perfectly describe entire infrastructures in Ansible playbooks. It is also the engine that executes these playbooks. This execution is performed over SSH or WinRM without an agent. Currently, there are over a thousand plus modules that enable these tasks. And the amount of user contributions is impressive. Yeah, we have over 2,500 unique contributors at this current time, over 22,000 stars, and 7,000 plus forks on GitHub. We even have Ansible books written by community members as well. Over the years, we've seen Ansible do some pretty unique things. In these next few episodes, we're going to talk about how we used Ansible to manage a satellite imaging system. We could even send commands to the satellite via our Ansible playbook. Ansible is quite a powerful tool. In this video series, we'll talk about how you can use it in launching instances, deploying a cross-region load balancer, and configuring customized networks. We'll even discuss how to build a custom network. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about that Ansible controlling a satellite thing you got going on there. Sure. The satellite imaging system consists of three subsystems, commanding, image processing, and end user applications. So commanding, you mean it, Ansible is actually working to control the actual satellite and have the satellite do some functions, right? Yes. As satellites orbit the Earth, they go in and out of remote ground station coverage. It's ideal to place ground stations near the poles so they will have more opportunity to communicate with satellites. In our series, we use Ansible to launch some instances, run an execu executable on some camera parameters, and then call a custom module to send those parameters to the RGS. Okay, so tell me about image processing now. Well, image processing is a sensitive issue. Basically, images that come directly from the satellite are not ready for human use. There is a custom processing that needs to occur. In this series, we talk about building custom networks for both image the image processing system and the remote ground station. And end user applications allow the user to see the processed images? Correct. I would expect these images to be quite large, right? and you probably have customers all over the world, how do you keep the response time low and the experience good? Well, we use the cross-region load balancer functionality built into GCP to ensure users are getting directed to the closest data center. We'll also cover how to set this up with Ansible. Very cool. And you mentioned a custom module. We at Ansible take a lot of pride in the fact that Ansible is extensible enough for you to do that. Agreed. To update our remote ground station, we built a custom module. We can't go over that module in detail, but we can show the audience how to build their own modules for either internal use or to be open sourced. So that being said, let's be sure to cover documentation and some best practices too, okay? We wanna hold community built modules to the same standards as our own delivered modules. Got it. I'm looking forward to talking about Ansible and Google Cloud together, Tom. Me too. And don't forget to check out all of our Ansible modules at the URL in the description below. Thank you.